from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a bit. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The long holiday weekend is finally here, and many of you may be getting ready to see family and friends for the first time since the pandemic. Tampa International Airport expects to see about 65,000 passengers a day throughout the holiday weekend. Although several companies are lifting mask mandates, you still need one at TPA and whatever airport you get to. Federal mandates require it. Zoo Tampa is trying to figure out how 12 stingrays died at one of its exhibits. The zoo says its animal care and vet teams are testing the water and looking at all of the mechanical equipment at Stingray Bay. It's a sensory area where you can put your hands in the water and touch the animals. All of the animals there suddenly died on Thursday. Stingray Bay will be closed to the public for at least eight weeks while workers try to figure out what happened here. And there's an update to a big story we've been following. On Friday, Mayor Rick Christman narrowed down the remaining redevelopment proposals for the Tropicana Field site to two finalists. Both plans include versions with and without a baseball field. The mayor said he feels moving forward with redevelopment plans is necessary to continue stadium negotiations with the Rays. The team's contract with the TROP ends in 2027. Now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Hey, doing everybody? Skies are partly cloudy. We did see a taste of summer weather on Friday with some showers and storms, most of them inland. But as we head on into the weekend, I think we are going to see more of that, more than we have seen for, well, maybe nine or ten months. The summer season looks like it's just about here, at least with a westerly wind. That means the bulk of the showers this weekend will be inland and on the east coast. But I think by Memorial Day, we're going to start to see the winds shift out of the east, and that's going to allow the rains to start coming back toward our beaches. So that is something we'll have to watch for the barbecues on Monday afternoon or Monday evening. And the next week, our rain chances definitely begin to rise. In fact, check it out. Things are quiet, but then by later Monday into Tuesday, look what happens. The moisture comes in from the southeast. That's more of our classic summertime pattern. So a much better chance of some rains toward the middle and the latter half of next week. It won't rain all day. It won't rain everywhere, but at least we're getting there. Every drop helps. Overnight skies remain mostly clear. The weekend looking good with temperatures near 90. Don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. Remember to download our free ABC Action News app.